I'm Brian with JMD. Today we're uh, going to demonstrate the PBH60 uh, hydraulic uh, profile bender. The biggest thing on these is uh, roll configuration um, and using your side supports. Um, roll configuration is probably the biggest problem that most people have in rolling this. Um, rolling flat bar uh, round or square is uh, pretty self-explanatory. The biggest problem that I that we run into is people trying to roll angle iron the hard way or leg in. Um, so today, what I was want to what we want to show is that uh, how to configure for rolling an, a piece of angle leg in. Um, I have with me today uh, a piece of 18 gauge um, that I'm going to be demonstrating rolling for another customer. Um, but uh, we're going to use it today in this demo for setup. Um, if you can see on this roll, um, I, on my bottom rolls, I have the big flats back here on, uh, on the two bottom rolls. And on my top roll, I've got a gap. My gap for my leg to fit in is on the, the back side here. So when I feed my piece in, I'm going to feed it in with the leg up and that top that leg is going to fit right inside of this groove right here okay now what I want to do I'm going to turn this machine on and I'm going to roll this side down a little bit I'm going to slide that in there and you see how how much play I have I want to tighten that up until my play is just barely minute just barely can wiggle in there. I need to keep this top roll tight to support this rib or this leg on this angle um, so that it won't ripple or, uh, or bend funny. Once I've got that in, I can then drive my piece forward and back, make sure that it tracks right. Once I've got it set where I want, I'm going to start my rolling process rolling this way. I'm going to bring this leg or this roll up. Now, if you can see, I do have digital readouts on this for roll placement. Um, I'm going to bring this up and watch my gauge. When I when I've just started this bend. And I'll keep a track of that number is at 278. And I will start my roll process. I'll roll it out to the specific point that I need. And then I will, because this is such thin gauge stuff, I'm not going to try to bend it going both directions. I'm just only going to bend it with one roll. So after I've made the initial pass, I'm going to roll this back out. Now I do know the specific radius that I'm trying to, to achieve here. So what I've done is I've made a radius gauge that I can put on here to see how close or how open or how tight I am. Now right now in looking at this, I know that I need to go a little bit tighter. So I can bring this roll up again on this side. And then, and now I will roll it again. Now, this is where your side supports come in handy. Um, you want to get this bearing to help control the twist of your material here. So I've got this set to where this bearing will run up, run right down the groove of that leg and help support it so it doesn't twist. Once I have that, I will go ahead and roll it back through to where I need it. Now I'll pull it back out. Okay, now I can come in here with my radius gauge again and check that. And I can see that I'm right on the money of, of where I want to be. So at that point, I can just go ahead, pull it out. And now I've just 
created a part. In two steps, using this, on very, very thin material, I've rolled it with leg in and been able to achieve the radius that I need on that. Now, if you were, if you were using a bigger machine with hydraulic supports here rolling heavier material, your roll configuration would be basically the same, other than you, this, how you configure it on the placement of the roll might change depending on the different shoes that you have for, the, for each roll. <clears throat> but if you remember, make sure that when you get your angle in there, that you tighten this up to where it just you have just the smallest amount of play that you've got so that um, it doesn't hang up but it doesn't rattle if it rattles you're going to start to see it bow in the, in this uh, in the leg that's sticking up if it's too loose it gets wavy if it's too tight it'll swell and get stuck in there so you kind of got to play with it hit that happy medium but uh, very doable very easy once you um, just get the roll configuration down and then use these side supports to help guide that to hold your twist um, not so bad it's not so uh, necessary on very light gauge things but as you get into heavier quarter inch and things like that you'll definitely need to make sure that you use your uh, your guides and support to support that twist because it will try to, to twist on you so in a nutshell that's the PBH 60 and rolling light gauge leg in the hard way thank you